Hello boys and girls. Welcome to peek over my shoulder in Knox. And we are on our way to the Temple of X and uh, I got mauled by a bear very unceremoniously. <coughs> because I started messing with my keyboard layout again and kind of lost track of stuff and all that. You know how it is. Okay, and the crossbow is indeed a disadvantage here. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to a long bow instead. Because the reload time is a is a true hazard. Another one? No. Oh, I was gonna lament over losing my demons, but I can summon creatures now, don't I? dependent on which creatures run the area I can call them in from anywhere. I got demons and speed dialio. Ooh, that's the temple. So cool. No, 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 I, I don't, I don't want to summon yeah. anything great now, no, oh. Yeah, I clicked somewhere by accident, I think I, I clicked onto the... Don't you step in there. Is hazardous. Okay, manual safety. Like I mentioned uh, during the previous uh, episode, and the part that's coming now is probably the most favorite uh, section of this game. And, uh, and I chose a different part for a gamertag video because uh, this, this uh, level or this, uh, this area is so deep, so far into the game that uh, I wanted to get to the stuff earlier on. We have been expecting your arrival. The sacred order of Oblivion are the caretakers and devout guardians of the Weirdling. Once you reach the Weirdling, the beast will cling to the staff, since the heart of Nox contains the richest source of energy it requires, much more than the meager offerings in the pools. The Weirdling thrives on pure energy, which it receives from the Zon pools in the remote depths of our subterranean temple. 
With the energy provided by the staff, the Weirdling Beast can channel the very forces of life itself. It is a weapon without peer, and will even channel a bit of your adversary's life into your own. It is time to resume your quest, lad. Hecuba grows more powerful with each passing minute. sorts of stuff and passages and secrets. Before I go down there. Harm the spider. Also, was there a secret behind these? There so often are. That's, that's the thing. <laughs> also the temple setting is kind of uh, following the logic that you can find uh, a particular hazard and the countermeasure for that hazard from from the same sources. <laughs> okay, with the wolf gone, I am going to summon the ember demons again, but uh, not until I get to the other end of this. Also another thing is that if, if you're at a certain angle then you get a glimpse of the other areas. So Come in done. <laughs> <laughs> also, flying creatures are very useful in all sorts of catacombi uh, catacombi crypty settings with floor traps and such because they don't fall down so easily. Yes. 
The game indicates that uh, the really high level conjurers have the ability to turn themselves into imps. But unfortunately the player never sees that. Okay, so this is the that one. Shit. I tried away a minute. Shit. <laughs> that was fast. What's next? <laughs> Menu and save here. Or such a such an epic start. So let's go reload <coughs> mana. <coughs> and I should probably summon another imp. <coughs> I take no chances. And <laughs> good call too. Oh, no. 
Okay, I'm, I'm cool with that. to move with the keyboard controls. Not a very smart move. That's the urchin mage who drops meteors on your head. The same type of summoning circle. Oh. And then you will get the box with the mimic as well. Uh, okay. The bear situation? Where Where's the bear? Oh, maybe it's random. Although, somehow I don't think it is. It shouldn't be. Oh, yeah, the bear is over there. Good. Okay, let's check all the circles and all the walls. Mm -hmm. And before 
before we go up. Let's check that stone. Yeah. Or boulder, whatever. Not this boulder. Yeah. The proper boulder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, didn't I cure your poisoning? So, is the cure poison something that you have to? Oh no, wait! I don't want to be here. Is the cure poison something that has to be uh, caused repeatedly, or is it just glitching out on me? This is where we see the beholder, isn't it? Hello, gorgeous. get this one anyway. Right. I have now enjoyed myself in the Temple of Eggs. And I think it is a good place to call the episode. So thank you very much for watching. See you soon and bye bye.